All right, guys, so we are back for another Dokkan Battle video, and this was certainly a surprise, right? With the return of the featured LR banners, like, I knew I was going to go hard, and I was going to try and get, you know, the five OG featured LR units, right? But what really stunned me was this bad boy right here kept showing up for me. LR Bojack. On LR Bojack's original banner, I don't know exactly how many stones I spent, it must have been close to like 2,500-ish, and I only managed to get one copy. So I've been stunned as I pulled four copies of him recently unfeatured. Like he just kept showing up and up and up and up. So I now have enough to 100% LR Bojack. Now, unlike some of the other LRs, you know, like LR Trunks, LR Gohan, if you pull dupes of them, you don't really have a ton of use for them afterwards. You know, at least their SSR forms are different from their LR forms, right? But, like, Bojack and Goku Black, like, their TUR versions are incredibly good and very viable on their team. So, even from this point on, I would not mind pulling dupes of LR Bojack. Now, I'm actually very excited for this video. Um, LR Bojack, I feel, is very, very underrated. Uh, you know, is he, like, you know, the second worst summonable LR or something? Sure. But that's not even really a bad thing, as we are about to find out today. Alright guys, so we're ready to hop into an event with the newly 100% at LR Bojack. Uh, like usual, I do want to just quickly kind of go over him before we hop into the event, so you guys can understand why he's such a monster. So, this is Galactic Invasion Full Power Bojack with the Galactic Warriors, which is, you know, all of his little minions. Um, as we know, he is the 100% leader for uh, Int. Now, I'm pretty sure we're in total probably going to get 10 of these 100% LRs because we'll get one of every type. Like, you know, so we'll get a Super AGL one, an Extreme AGL one, a Super Tech one, an Extreme Tech one, and on and on and on. Uh, I, I've seen some people think that we're going to get five, one for every type, but I do think we'll probably get like one for both Extreme and Super of every type. That's probably more likely. Uh, I know it's a lot of LRs, but it's like, you know, that's <laughs> that, there's going to be new units released. Like, and I don't know what to tell you. Um, I do really like those leader skills. In particular, uh, Extreme Int is probably the one where it's most viable or most needed because Int Kibu uh, does only get, you know, he doesn't have any key links. So that extra two key from having like a double Bojack leader or even the extra one key from having like, a, you know, a friend Bojack leader, for example, could be incredibly valuable, especially if you're going to try like Super Battle Road or something. So his super attack is the Galactic Buster. Uh, that is a 12 key super for LR Bojack, which is colossal damage to the enemy and uh, lowers enemy defense. And then the 18 key super is the Team Galactic Buster, which does Mega Colossal damage, and extreme type allies get attack for plus 40% for one turn, so that could be very useful in the right situation. Uh, Bojack's passive is a Galaxy Died in Darkness, which is attack and defense 80% at the start of turn, and then he gets more H or he gets more attack as his HP is higher and more defense as his HP is lower. Now. Back when this unit originally came out, it was very, very difficult to kind of understand what it meant. But since then, we've gained a better understanding. So I'm going to kind of read verbatim what it says on the wiki. Uh, I might actually cut this out and put this on the screen as well so you guys can kind of read along with me. And I'll try and make sense of what it says. So the higher the HP at the start of the turn, the higher the attack boost from the second part of LR Bojack's passive. For example, if HP is 50%, Bojack will gain an additional 35% attack boost, which is 55, which is 50% of the maximum 70% boost, so that he gains at full health. If HP is 10%, the attack boost will be 10% out of 70%, meaning 7%. So basically, like the way it works is like he has 70% to play with, uh, and like what percent of attack and defense LR Bojack's gonna get at the start of turn? is going to be based upon what his health is at the start of turn. So uh, if we go down here, uh, defense boost works the opposite way. So at 50% health, he gets 35% uh, defense. But at 10% HP, he'll get 63% defense. So I think the maximum he'll realistically get, it might only be 63%. Like Because as far as I'm aware, it's the full 
like scale of 70%. So at full health, you might get the additional 63% and then 7% to defense. I think that's how it works. It might not be. Again, it is a little confusing, but it basically works like this. As soon as the turn starts, the higher your health, the higher LR Bojack's attack will be. The lower your health, the higher LR Bojack's defense will be. Now, this only factors in immediately at the start of turn. So, like, if you use a Sensu Bean or Heal Up and stuff like that, it's not going to change that turn. Like, he's not going to get the additional attack. It just starts right at the start of the turn. I don't the, the description from the wiki is a little wonky, but, like, it does make sense. It's just, it is something that's kind of hard to explain. Uh, now, his links are the Hera Clan, Galactic Warriors, Big Bad Bosses, Thirst for Conquest, Shattering Limit, Revival, and Legendary Power. So, his links are... Basically, crazy bad for most situations. Uh, he, like, a lot of the time, his links are not going to be great. Where they will work perfectly is either on the Revived Warrior category team, or uh, he'll also work very well on the SCR Rose Goku Black Villain team. Uh, those two scenarios, LR Bojack will actually be able to shine uh, quite a lot. Uh, because the Rose team, obviously, with Rose, Goku, Black, you know, that plus three key passive makes it a lot easier for Bojack to actually super attack. And, of course, the last thing is LR Bojack does have the Revived Warrior category. Uh, that is the team I'm going to showcase him on because, again, LR Bojack's links are pretty bad. The only time you can really get away with his links the way they are is if you're actually uh, on the Revived Warrior team. Like, because on the Revived Warrior team... You're able to get either the SDR full power Bojack or the AGL full power Bojack uh, on a rotation with LR Bojack. And you can activate basically like all of his links, like Hera Clan, Galactic Warriors, Big Bad Bosses. All of those get activated. So it becomes a thing where he just does a tremendous amount of damage. Like, again, I'm going to show you all how fucking good LR Bojack can really be. Because, again, people like. <laughs> People think LR Bojack is like, he's like, oh, he's okay. You know, he he's one of the worst some of LRs. And it's like, bro, no. LR Bojack is insane. Ridiculous. Also, LR Macho Vegeta's not too bad himself. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> yeah, nice. All right. Here we go. Yes. Oh, this, this is the rotation of dreams right here. We have full health. Can we get... Hmm. I want to get the 18 key super though, especially with metal cooler on rotation. Is that the 18 key super? Yeah, it is. No. He has 12 key, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That's only the 17 key super. Uh, I don't think there's a way. Nah. As of right now, I'm not going to be able to get the 18 key super, so we'll have to wait again until uh, you know, metal cooler rolls around on rotation. Uh, with the two Bojacks, but let's see how much damage this man is going to do. So there's 2.7 million attack stat. Pretty good. Just casual 2.8 million right there. Oh, and the, <laughs> and the dodge, bro. So here's my AGL Bojack. I actually have him at SA10, but I don't have him like with any love in the dupe system. So he takes 52,000. That's quite sizable. Uh, but SA10 AGL Bojack. What's funny is I pulled a million of those Bojacks, I believe, off of the Tapion banner. That's where I got the majority of them. Uh, also, like in terms for the showcase, this is what we're going to be rocking. Uh, we're going to have LR Majin Vegeta and Super Saiyan 3 Tech Angel Goku serve as a rotation. Obviously, they're going to share over in a flash with each other. It'll allow Majin Vegeta to work spectacularly. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Yo. My, like... <laughs> This is the thing, like, people also mistakenly think Machi and Vegeta is, like, bad compared to the other LRs, and it's like, no, bro, <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> that 150% boost when performing super attack is, like, stupid, like, all these units are just so good, alright, so, uh, they do share revival there, hmm, uh, I want beam supers, though, so I'm only gonna get, I don't want his 18 key super here, uh, ooh, actually, Super 17 could give us trouble. I'm going to save... Yeah, I'm going to save all those in orbs for LR Bojack. Uh, once... Oh, no. The orbs might reset. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, 
Uh, I, I just want to quickly get past us. Wow, that's... Even, like, with his crazy defense shield up, LR Bojack still did 600k on a crit. So powerful. Such a powerful unit. But, yeah, we'll quickly get his barrier down. And then uh, LR Bojack's 18 key super is actually a uh, physical attack. So he should be able to, like, completely destroy Super 17 at that point. Oh, I'm actually probably going to have to heal. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and rock a heal right now as well. Uh, that <clears throat> shouldn't be too much of an issue right there. Now, hmm, let's see. We can get the super attack right there. No, let's do... I think I'm going to skip the super attack with uh, Angel Goku here. Yeah, for sure. I will. It, it, it's fine. I just want to skip that, and I want to leave those uh, purple orbs for Bojack, because I want to get that 18 key super of his. But I do want to show... That's at a 3, three million attack stat, bro. Chill. <laughs> Yo, Majin Vegeta, bro. <laughs> Majin Vegeta is showing out. I have uh, three dupes in him now, and he's like, whoa, 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 whoa. This is my showcase now. <laughs> like, like Majin Vegeta's coming in like I'm the captain now. <laughs> it's like, whoa, Majin Vegeta, chill. I'm trying to, I'm trying to talk about how good Bojack is, Majin Vegeta. Stop, stop this nonsense. All right, so. AGL Bojack will go ahead and destroy the barrier. Is Majin Vegeta's 12 key super a beam attack? It probably is, huh? So I'm, I can't let him super attack in this next turn. I'm going to completely heal up Super 17. Unless Bojack wants to finish him off right here. Nah. And then, yeah, Bojack is like never going to take damage. Even from this super attack right here, it's probably going to do way less than the 100,000 someone else got hit for. Yup, only 60. That's 40,000 damage. That LR Bojack took less compared to another unit just off of how ridiculously high uh, LR stats are. Uh, actually, Super Saiyan 3 Goku could probably finish this off. Uh, real quick, is Majin Vegeta? Yeah, that is a beam super. I know it seems stupid. Like, of course that's a beam super. But, I don't know. It's kind of like a piercing attack. Like, it wouldn't be super. Well, yeah, there's no way that's a physical attack. What am I thinking? Um, I'm crazy. Uh, so, we're not going to do a <laughs> beam super with you, my boy. <laughs> And let's get all these red orbs, just in case uh, Angel Goku does not finish him off. We have a bunch of orbs for LR Bojack here. But, I mean, Angel Tech Goku, he literally was like, <laughs> he was like the main unit to beat this event. So, yeah, he's going to finish off Super 17. Okay, so now we can kind of move on to a main event. That's the only thing with this boss. Like, these boss rush stages were designed in an annoying way, like, for, to do showcases. And, like, what I mean by that is, like, Super 17 is a very weird fight because of his barrier. And then, like, you look at uh, the other stage, and you have Omega right there, like, at the beginning of the other one, where he fucks up your rotations. So, like, those two together, like, are very, very annoying. Also, I'm not going to get the 18 key super again, man. That is a DM shape. No. No, I'm not. That's 17. Damn. Okay, okay. Well, <laughs> we'll... We will get that blasted 18 key super with metal cool arm rotation at some point. Also, Bojack doesn't have the full uh, attack boost as well. Whoa, look at that. 66 damage. 3 million attack stat, bro. That's without the full attack boost. Four. <laughs> yo, yo, he casually doing 4 million. LRs, newsflash. LRs are pretty strong, bro. <laughs> They're just tearing shit to, to shreds right now. Tearing shit asunder. Chill. <laughs> Yo, know, the LRs, man. Some of these category teams with these LRs are just, they're so wild, bro. All right, so now we'll have Machin Vegeta. This is why people love the Revived Warrior category team, by the way. You guys are seeing, like, some of the stuff you could do with this. Like, having... You know, the LR Bojack rotation and the Majin Vegeta and Angel Goku rotation. Absolutely stunning. Ooh, okay, this will be perfect. So, let's see how much damage uh, LR Bojack will take from uh, Veku here, even with a type disadvantage. Uh, I think it's going to be a very low amount, by the way. I don't think uh, Veku is going to be able to hurt LR Bojack very much. And then again, 2.5 million attacks that. Uh, oh, whoa. <laughs> Big Bad Bosses was active. 3 million crits, just saying, Veku, sit the fuck down, son. Sit down. Also, by the way, uh, we are on a, uh, whatchamacallit, on a Revived Warrior category team, obviously. So, he is getting that 170% boost. 
Mm, let's do these red ones right here. Uh, 100, double 170% boost from Angel, Gold, and Frieza. That's why I'm showcasing uh, Bojack on this team rather than on the Int team. Is because he'll be able to do so much more damage on this team. And he'll also have a linking partner in AGL Bojack or SDR Bojack. On Int, unless you have a, a, a copy of the TUR, there's no Bojack that you're going to have there to activate all of his links. So Int is not the best place for Bojack at all. It's the Revived Warrior Team or the Villain Team. Because uh, the Villain Team, again, you could get um, another one of the Bojacks on there, even though you don't really... Like, the Villain Team is just so much powerful, you don't need that. And then there, 3.8 million crit, bro. The LRs are starting to take control. <laughs> okay, Gogeta. Yes, up against Gogeta Sama. Full health. 18 key super. What will Bojack do here? This will be a very, very interesting experiment to see how powerful LR Bojack can be right here. Ooh, no damage. Oof, nothing, my boy. Okay, what's this attack at? 3.3! Yo! And of course, like, he gets that attack buff, like, you know, the 40% to L allies. Or stream type allies. 1.5. Okay, again, obviously, in Gogeta, like, these bosses have ridiculous barriers. I would have liked a little bit more, but if he had gotten a crit, it would have been crazy. 252,000 from AGL Bojack is not bad either. Obviously, if that Bojack was like 100%, he really could do some work. Like, if I wanted to really troll around, I could 100% that AGL Bojack. That wouldn't honestly be the worst idea in the world. Uh, because he probably could be quite useful for uh, Super Battle Road as well. Having another... 100% unit like that because as of this moment I have not beaten Super Battle Road for Extreme AGL but I'm like very positive I can uh, now that Majin Vegeta has got several dupes in him uh, and there we go we'll go ahead and finish off Int Gogeta wabam with Majin Vegeta I love that Majin Vegeta super attack but there you guys go uh, I, I think we can kind of you know finish off the video right there uh, I think that was kind of a good showcase of like how to properly utilize LR Bojack and him being 100%. Uh, very soon, I will take down the Extreme Int Super Battle Road with LR Bojack as well. Uh, him being rainbowed should really help out a lot there. But regardless, y'all, I appreciate y'all watching. Thanks for stopping by. Later.